I really understand where this person is coming from. I actually have a nice analogy that I use with my students, and it goes like this. If you're driving in a car, it is absolutely never acceptable for you to not be in control of that car. You always have to be in control of that car. So that if for some short period of time, you're driving down the freeway and for say three seconds, a small period of time, you're not in control of the car, that is entirely unacceptable. No questions, unacceptable. Even if nothing bad happens, even if you kept going straight and nobody outside could have even noticed, it's still not okay. And it's the same principle that we apply with controlling nuclear materials. When something bad happens, you lose control and nobody gets hurt, the environment is not impacted in a way that is going to be substantive in terms of the life that's there, that doesn't make it okay for us to have lost control. Like when you have a small leak, like what happened up at Hanford. Now, when I say a small leak, I mean it's small in terms of any kind of environmental impact. It's easy to measure, but that doesn't mean that it's harmful. It's kind of like temperature. Easy to measure, but not all temperatures are harmful. Only certain temperatures would be harmful. And so that's an, a, an analogy that I would make when it comes to the leaking Hanford waste tanks. Yes, they leaked, and yes, it was measurable, but it wasn't substantial enough to have any kind of life effect, at least not that's measurable. Remember, the Earth is radioactive now, always has been, always will be. Radioactivity is normal. Potassium in our blood, in our body, is essential to life. It's naturally radioactive. It's everywhere. And so when you're talking about doses that are comparable to this, the radon that's in the air, uh, atmospheric, uh, uh, cosmic rays, and those things, it just doesn't make sense to get panicked or fearful or to take extreme behavior when that's what we're talking about are things that are comparable to what's natural. And I agree, it is not okay to lose control of nuclear material like what ha happened at Hanford. But keep in mind, these are not things that are going to make a difference in terms of anything that's measurable. And so just we need to have perspective on this. We need to have balance and recognize what is actually harmful what's not harmful versus what's acceptable and not acceptable because those two have a large difference between them. Regulations tell us what is acceptable if it's planned and it's controlled. And so if it's not planned and it's not controlled, like what happened up here at Hanford, that's not okay, right? Because you just got lucky that it didn't hurt anybody. And so it is something that does take some knowledge and insight to be able to have a good balance. But that's what I would advocate is that we take it in perspective what is acceptable and what's harmful, and the two aren't always in the same boat. So I hope that helps. Thanks for the comment. Keep them coming. Have a good day. Bye.